Hello everybody, this is Patrick from AllQuant. In the previous video, I have shown you how to open up an account with Interactive Brokers, how you can actually um, create an account for yourself. Okay, so in this video today, I'm going to show you the actual trading platform of Interactive Brokers. A little disclaimer before that, I'm not affiliated at all to Interactive Brokers, right? I do not get commission for any account opening with them. Okay, it's just that I've used them for many years now, and I think that they are one of the more decent platforms available. Okay, so that is why I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so over here on their website, okay, you can see that actually Interactive Broker, they have a couple of different platforms, right? So if you are someone who likes to use the internet or use your browser to put in your trades, right? You can use their client portal, which is actually a web application service and you can just easily access it using your browser. All right, and then another trading platform that they have is like a software that you can download and install into your computer. Okay, it's called Trader Workstation. Okay, personally for myself, I prefer to use the Trader Workstation simply because I prefer the layout and it gives me more flexibility in terms of uh, putting in my orders, all right? There are a couple of other platforms that I'll not touch on here. Okay, you can just easily go to the website and explore. Okay, now if you want to use the Trader Workstation, okay, you need to actually download the software and install it into your computer, all right? So they have actually got a link here. Okay, it's called Download Software. Just click on it. So they have a couple of different versions available. Okay, any of these versions will do, okay, but uh, you can just choose the TWS latest, okay, which gives you their latest version of the workstation. Okay, so just click on it and it will bring you to the download page. Okay, and just click on the download button where they will actually download the installation file and you can execute the installation file and it will proceed to install the software onto your computer. Once you have successfully installed the software, you should be able to see a shortcut link okay, on your desktop. Okay, it's called Trader Workstation. So once you double click on that shortcut, it will basically open up the, the login screen for you okay, where you can actually key in your username and then followed by your password and you can just log into your account. Okay, so Interactive Brokers, they actually offer you a paper trading account as well together with the live trading. So if you want to log into the live trading environment, okay, make sure you select live trading. Okay, but if let's say you want to go into a paper trading environment using your paper trading account, all right, you can just click on paper trading, okay, and then you just log in accordingly. I've actually already logged in uh, to my own paper trading account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how the platform looks like. All right, so this is um, the default screen that the Trader Workstation will show you. All right, it is called the Mosaic screen. Okay, Mosaic screen because it actually gives you a few different windows uh, containing different information. Okay, but personally for me, I don't really quite like this okay, because I find it's a little bit too cluttered and confusing. So what I prefer is I actually like the classic TWS screen. You can just toggle it over at the bottom left-hand side over here. All right, you, you see this classic TWS? Just click on the tab and you will open up the classic format. As you can see, it's very clean. Okay, it just gives you some sort of like a Excel type of format, okay, with rows and columns. They also allow you to create different tabs, right? So for myself, I've actually created uh, different tabs according to the strategies that I'm running. Okay, so these strategies are also the strategies that we are teaching in our course, okay? So I have a screen for risk parity. I've also got a window for sector rotation, uh, trend following, and volatility risk premium. Okay, so for each of the tabs, right, I actually put in the security tickles that I will be trading for that particular strategy. Okay, so like for example, for risk parity, I only have SPY and IEF. Just to show you how easy it is to actually um, add your own ticker that you want to monitor, right? So let's say I want to include Microsoft. Okay, just select one of the rows, right? Under the financial instrument column, right? And then you just type in the ticker symbol for Microsoft, which is MSFT. Press the enter button. 
and it will actually give you a pop-up where you can actually choose from a few options all right you can either choose the stock itself or you can choose the options and some other um, security types as well all right so for my case i'm looking for the stock so i'll just select the stock okay and it will appear under the row that you've selected okay and some additional information will also come out as well okay it will show you the current bid price of the stock as well as the ask price of the stock and then as well as the bid size and the ask size and you will also show you the latest price of the stock as well okay so, so currently it is not during market trading hours so which is why the information is not moving right it's stale but if let's say this is live trading environment right where the market is open okay you will see that the uh, prices actually will move right you will fluctuate Okay, and also it will show you some other things like if you have a position in the stock, it will show you your position size, how many shares you own. It will also give you your average purchase price of the stock, and it will also tell you your daily PL okay, for that particular day. All right, so what happens if, let's say, I want to um, buy Microsoft? There are two, actually two ways that I can go about doing it. The easiest way is to just click on the Ask column. Okay, so it will be a buy order and you can enter in the number of shares that you want to buy. Okay, the default is 100 shares, okay, but you can easily change it by clicking on this data field. All right, so for interactive brokers, right, they actually allow you to enter your order either by the number of shares that you want to buy or you can also enter the notional size, right, of the order that you want to put in. So if you want to key in by notional size, you can just select the USD, right? Then you can just key in the dollar amount that you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy uh, $3,000 worth of Microsoft shares. I'll just type 3,000, okay? Press enter. Okay, it will just tell you, okay, 3,000 USD. That, that is your order size. Okay, and then the time in force, right? The default is day, which means to say that if let's say your order has not been executed during the trading day itself, okay, this order will lapse and you will no longer be valid. Okay, but you can change it to become what you call GTC. GTC stands for good till cancel. It means that this order will always be in place until the order is fulfilled. All right. Okay, but let's switch it back to day. Okay. Now the next thing you need to specify is what is your order type. All right. So the default order type is a limit order. So if you want to use a limit order, you need to actually set your limit price. So the limit price is basically the price at which you are willing to buy the stock. Okay, so let's say the current price of Microsoft is about $250 and you want to set a limit price that is somewhere below that. So in other words, you want to buy Microsoft shares at a lower price than the current price. So let's say I want to buy it at a price of $245. Okay, I just type in $245, right? And the destination is... Um, smart routing so smart routing basically means that uh, interactive brokers will route your order to the exchange that gives the most competitive price for you so in other words you are supposed to get the best price that's available in the u.s market right okay if not you can also choose specific exchanges that you want your order to go to okay but usually uh, just set it to smart is good enough all right smart routing so once you have your order in place, you can just click on transmit, right? And it will give you this order confirmation screen. Okay, you can just do a last check on your order to make sure that everything is in order. Okay, if you want to buy, make sure that it's a buy trade. Okay, make sure that the amount that you're buying is correct. Make sure your order type is the correct type. If it's a limit order, make sure your limit price set is correct. All right. And over here, it will give you a rough estimate of the commission that this trade will incur okay so for interactive brokers right they actually charge very very competitive commissions so you can see that even for an order size of 3000 usd yeah, the commission would be around one us dollar only all right now this section over here basically just tells you um, your margin status okay because if you have a margin account with interactive brokers right you need to make, make sure that your margin Okay, is sufficient in order for you to um, maintain your positions in your account. If you ever have a margin that is below the maintenance margin, 
interactive brokers would force you to actually sell some of your positions so that your margin can be brought above right the maintenance margin again all right okay so now after you've checked everything is in order you can just click on this override and transmit button and your order is placed in exchange right now because currently the market is not open okay so there is this warning message that comes out telling you that your order will not be placed at the exchange until right the market is open at 9 30 us eastern time if the market is currently open you will not see this warning message all right so just ignore the message and then you also get some prompter here saying that allow IB to protect your orders by using the price management algo. Okay, you can just ignore this message. Okay, you can just say do not use. Now, if you want to cancel your order, right, it's a very simple thing of just clicking on the cancel button over here on the right hand side. You can just click on cancel and your order will be cancelled. All right. Now, if I want to place a market order, what do I do? Okay, very simple. The same thing here. Okay, click on the ask column. Okay, again, the, the buy order line will come out. Okay, put in your order amount. Okay, this time around, I want to buy according to the number of shares. So let's say I want to buy 300 shares of Microsoft. All right, so I select 300 shares. Um, and this time around, I want to select the market order. So I just choose this uh, market under the drop down. Okay. So if it's a market order, right, I don't need to put in any price, okay, because market order simply means that I want to buy the shares at whatever prevailing ask price. So once the order is in place, just put, just click on the transmit button. And again, the order confirmation screen will come out. So once again, check that the order is correct, right? Once you've checked that it's correct, just click on the transmit button and your order would go through okay again if the market is not open you'll get this warning message telling you that your order will not be placed until the market opens at 9 30 us eastern time if you want this warning to not trigger right, every time you place order you can just click on this check box here that says don't display this message again right so you just check on it and click ok then this warning signal will not come out anymore Okay, so this is the simple way of entering order. Okay, the other way of entering order is, so right click on the stock that you're interested in, okay, and select trade, and then click on this down arrow here to basically uh, bring down more options for you, right? And you can just click on this order ticket selection, and it will basically open up the order ticket screen for you. So the action is actually to buy, okay? If you want to sell, just change the, uh, selection to sell okay but let's say i want to buy it okay so then type in the amount of shares that you want to buy if you want to put in your order in terms of the notional amount okay again just select a usd okay and then type in the dollar amount that you want to purchase all right so three thousand okay and over here again the order type right select the order type that you want to use whether it's a limit or market order okay there are a couple of other um, order types that ib actually offers you okay i will not go into detail over here if you're interested in those order types okay you can read about them on their website okay so for my case here let's say i want to use limit order then i have to key in my limit price right 245 okay and again the destination is uh, smart routing which is a default okay and over here the time in force you can choose either day or good to cancel Okay, I'll leave it as day order. Okay, once everything is keyed in, all right, you can just use the preview button to preview your order. Okay, so this one will show you the order preview for you to check to make sure that everything is correct. All right, and over here again, it will tell you the estimated commissions, right, for this particular trade, uh, and it also tell you your margin status. So if you're happy and satisfied with it, you can just click overwrite and transmit, and again, your order will go through. So if you go to the pending tab, okay, you'll be able to see your pending orders inside here as well. Okay, so this is a place you can just basically come and look at all the trades um, that is just pending execution when the market opens. All right. So if you want to uh, make any changes, you can still go ahead and change them as well. All right. So let's say I want to buy hundred shares, I want to change to three hundred shares. Okay, I can just update it over here. 
and just click on the update button okay Un update and you will just update accordingly all right and if let's say I don't want it to be a market order I want to change it to a limit order okay I put in my limit price okay again I can just update it and it's updated all right so sometimes right um, you will get this additional line here that says okay your previous order was cancelled by the system okay it's okay uh, it will take some time to clear right so but once it's cleared up it's okay right so the most important thing is to make sure that um, the order that you want is being held and monitored that's all all right okay so that's all i have for you with regards to this um, trader workstation okay you can just play around with it and familiarize yourself using the paper trading account and once you are familiar with it and more comfortable using it then you can proceed on to use it for live trading as well all right so thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you again in the next video